Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Twitchy here guys. Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic today guys. So welcome back to yet another MX versus ATV Legends video. So the gameplay that you see in the background is a couple solid laps on the Pine Top DLC. A part of the Throwback Track DLC that was released i think this specific dlc the i think they launched with sugar ridge and sandwick this was launched launch I, I believe back like the beginning of november um so i haven't done a video on these yet so i feel, i kind of felt like i kind of had to do something for this for this dlc because it, these dlcs have been just outstanding from Rainbow Studios, <laughs> like they've been really, really good. I, I honestly don't see anything really necessarily wrong with them. I think Pine Top is easily my favorite track out of the Sugar Ridge, Sandwich, and Pine Top. So they're, I mean, in their, they're all good in their own rights, but uh, I really feel like Pine Top is the best one. Um, that's just my opinion, I guess, but I definitely think it's, it's a solid track. You can huck a lot of whips on this one and just go insanely fast just through the entire track. Um, as you guys, guys can see with this gameplay, I, I feel like I do get some solid lines and stuff. And I do throw some pretty gnarly whips and scrubs and stuff like that. I, I, I really enjoyed this gameplay when it recorded. I had lots of fun. Obviously, this is a post-commentary to when I actually recorded the the gameplay that you're watching, I kind of figured that when I'm not recording or I'm not like live commentating, um, I feel like I write a lot better. So I feel like maybe this way, the way we're doing it now, might be a better way of maybe going about my MX versus ATV content for now. Um, I don't know why, but PlayStation, Sony, whatever, they don't allow you to record video on the PS5, like, face cam footage while you're playing games, so, unfortunately, I have to do it in post-editing, so I'm actually in the PlayStation Share Factory editor as we speak, and I'm recording my face cam over the gameplay, so, uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's, it's a pretty cool feature that the PS5 has, and allows you to make some pretty solid gameplay for just straight from the PS5 system, so, um, I think that's decent. Um, but yeah, back to the actual gameplay here. Um, I'm running max deformation. That's what I'm probably going to do for most of these videos. I feel like max deformation kind of, in a way, adds a bit more, I don't know, realism or semblance of just... Um, yeah, well, I, guess, I guess the word would be realism. Um, it, 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 it just... Adds, I would say maybe a fun factor as well. I think that the track deformation just, just adds a little bit, just some, I guess, yeah, like more realism and a little bit more of a fun factor, just for me, anyways. Um, Pine Top is definitely a very good track. If you guys have not picked it up yet, I highly recommend it. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that are not a big fan of just purchasing DLC in general, but. I, I'm pretty sure I would I would confidently say that this DLC is worth it. Um, maybe the bike DLCs might not be worth it. That can be up to you. But for me, like I would highly recommend purchasing these DLC tracks because I think they're really good. Um, I think they're fun to go back to and reminisce on the older games and stuff like that. You know, like. I personally, like, I've played a lot of Reflex, like, console version over the years, um, and I've played lots of Pine Top, but, I mean, it's been a long time, so my, like, memory's foggy, but I, I'm pretty sure it does resemble the track, like, really well, like, I, I think it's, you know, like, environment-wise, I'm pretty sure it's generally the same. But, like, the colors and stuff and the hue and saturation and stuff just looks a little, like, quite a bit different. But 
the track is generally the same from what I remember. Um, maybe they added a few different things that I just don't really remember, but I mean, at just the naked eye and judging it from the version that we're playing in Legends, very nice. Um, this is probably like my favorite national track in the game right now, for sure. I definitely think it's my favorite. I think it's probably one of the tracks that can run the most consistent laps on. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect at the game, but I mean, I can kind of do Pine Top without crashing too many times, but I do crash a couple times in this gameplay for the mere fact that I was just kind of fucking around. So exactly right there, I don't know why I decided to throw a whip there, but when I'm actually like zoned in and I'm trying to get a fast lap, like I don't really try. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't really mess up too much, but eh. I mean, as I've said before, my <laughs> that was a sick whip. I'm telling you guys, that was fucking gnarly. Um, I've t I've said before that <laughs> I'm not I'm not very consistent at this game, and I've never I've never have been, but. I'm not ever trying to be the fastest guy out there, and I'm not really one for super competitive type stuff. I'm not really that type of guy, but I do like, you know, having fun and stuff, and that's really what I'm out here trying to do. You know, I I play video games to have fun and escape reality, so when I'm playing video games, I ain't trying to stress. <laughs> I ain't trying to stress, so... Um, I feel like Pine Top is one of those tracks that I can hop on and spin a bunch of laps and really, really enjoy myself. Um, yeah, so I think uh, this track is very valid, very, very valid. Um, if you guys haven't noticed yet, we are actually running the KX450, the 2023 version. Um, I think we are we're running the Monster Slayco kit. I think that is a really cool kit, but the, th the funny thing is about those Slayco kits is that you can pretty much put them on um, any any of the OEM bikes, I believe. I think most of them you can anyway, so like, I mean, it's it's weird because it doesn't, like, it's just weird seeing like Monster on like a Honda or something like that, you know what I mean? Like something that it's not really Monster related, if I, I don't know. Um, or like a monster Husqvarna, is that a thing? I, I don't know, because as I said, I'm not very familiar with <laughs> IRL moto stuff, but I'm pretty sure Husqvarna is not affiliated with monster in any way, so having like a monster graphics kit on like something like a Husqvarna or a, a Honda, it, it's a little weird to see, um, but I, I definitely think it just adds a cool element and just another level of customization that you can't really do in any other video game, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to say it again, and I have said it in the past in previous videos, and I will briefly say it in comments and comment sections and stuff too. I I really enjoy what Rainbow's, Rainbow Studios is doing with the game. Like, I got nothing but great things to say. Um, I haven't been as positive in the past, but I, I've, I've really had a new outlook on a lot of things recently, and... Um, I, I, I really respect Rainbow, Rainbow Studios for what they're doing with this game because, I mean, as, I, as, how do I explain what I'm trying to say? Um, I've been a fan of the Rainbow games, like, anything that Rainbow makes, like, with the MX vs. ATV and stuff like that. Um, I, I've been playing these types of games pretty much since, like, I would say 2004. I think that's when I got my PS2, and actually my very first game on the PlayStation 2 was MX vs. ATV Unleashed, so um, it's been a long time, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, I guess you consider I'm a generally younger person, but when it comes to MX vs. ATV games, I feel like I've been playing them forever, man, and, um, you know, I never really played anything, obviously, before 2004, I have gone back and played like a few, but really not many. Um, I used to play the ATV Off-Road Fury games, like, religiously. I played every single one of those games, and I loved them. I wish they would reboot that series, man, because I would actually shed a tear if they rebooted ATV Off-Road Fury. 
Okay, hopefully my controller didn't disconnect there and the audio cut out, but hopefully we're still here. Um, I really hope that they reboot the AT Valve for Furies. That would be really cool. That would be like, oh, that'd be so nostalgic. Um, but yeah, um, I got to say Rainbow Studios just has really been killing it with what they have been putting out for the game. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's other moto companies out there or companies that, you know, don't really update their games too often. Um, it, it really, any company in general, there's a lot of, like, not any company, but there's companies out there just that kind of, like, forget about their game after launch and stuff. Not only the one that starts with an M, but um, there, there's quite a few other companies out there that just kind of neglect their games after launch. So it's it, it's it's nice to see that um, Rainbow Studios and the guys working over on this game have really been uh, really updating this game quite a bit and more than a lot of other mortal games usually get. So um, I definitely commend and highly respect Rainbow Studios for that and giving us usually about bi-weekly updates or every three weeks or so we get a pretty significant update like i feel like every update they, that they drop on this game makes the game even better um yeah i am I've, I've been really enjoying this game guys so um i think we're coming up on to the end of the video here so um yeah that's pretty much been it guys i really appreciate you guys stopping by for another video um definitely be in in tune with the channel and uh yeah thank you all for watching we'll see you guys in the next video adios and take care Peace.